Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. How are you guys doing? It is a Chris 530 in the morning. We got ourselves going out today with Mr. Manager Matt. Actually, you know what? He is CEO Matt now because he is the CEO of all of Guggen. Actually, CEO of all of House Doors, which owns all the companies along with Guggen. And to be honest with you, I don't know what else we have underneath that umbrella. I know that sounds ignorant, but I honestly got to have no idea. Hey, we just dropped some new stuff over on NFG. I love this shirt right here. This is Not Woke, Not Afraid. That is the back and this is the front. NFG logo. It's a different one, actually, right there in the little breast area. Not Woke, Not Afraid, One Nation Under God. I love this one. This is American as it can get. And then this hat just dropped. This is a patch. Red, white, and blue. I mean, that's an actual patch patch. Um, white. Red, white, and blue snapback. And then uh, this is still my favorite hat because it fits my head so well. But anyway, this is another one. Tan. And this is another solid patch. This one's really, really, really on there. Sewn on there. It's, it's really on there. I like it. So if you guys would like to snag any of these, you guys possibly can right now. They'll be linked to the very top of the description. If you guys use code LUNKERS at checkout, you'll save yourself some cash. I just wanted to say for all my all my peoples out there, yes, we're still doing this. And I just uh, been a little slow. We've got a lot of stuff going on. But there, there's another little drop for you coming into the fourth. Not woke, not afraid. It's a good little, look at this little combo. Look at that. That looks good. Red, white, and blue. And then, of course, steak and eggs is about as American as it gets. Yeah. Click the link at the top of the bio. You guys can snag your, the top of the description, bio, description, whatever it is. Just snag yourself a set of NFG. Help support the channel. And uh, keep that no f given mindset going so we are actually pulling up or i guess i'm pulling up i'm driving up anyway this is probably one of the most sought after lakes i think in america if i were to ask anybody in america that bass fishes a lake that's on their bucket list i would assume like almost every single person wants to fish this lake for bass this has got some giant bass like we're here on lake fork i don't come out here very often because it's, it's generally like a parking lot out here in the springtime but now we're more in the summertime and it's a friday it's gonna be pretty packed it's lake fork if you guys come down here from the north which that generally happens in the spring you'll come down here you'll see a whole bunch of boats from the north you're gonna have to deal with the parking lot i don't i haven't fished here in like two two and a half years i'm gonna be focusing on techniques that i would be using i have a tournament on pickwick here in i don't even know when that is two months two weeks <laughs> so two months two weeks i think three weeks and uh it's gonna be more ledge fishing and there's not a lot of ledge fishing here but there are some really good offshore spots and i'm just gonna idle them see if we can doink up some big fish there's not a shad spawn but it's not that going on oh darn, 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 darn. we're right here with kendrick on his boat so it's gonna take me it might take me a second to find some fish offshore <laughs> no, you're not. I swear to God, I am. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding? There's no way. This, <laughs> this is about as googly as it gets. I don't know how much I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my God. Um, that's why I love you, buddy. I'm just gonna pick this hair jig up for a little bit. I'm gonna toss this thing around. I don't think you want to break off that line inside your motor. It'll get inside that gasket and you'll it all up how bad is it <laughs> oh my god oh man. i don't even know what to say welcome back to another episode with matt kendrick so i'm actually adjusting this now if i lose this hair jig out the gate i'm gonna be kind of salty first cast i think of 20 dollars a piece are you serious yeah that bait ball. yeah that's a huge bait ball Woo. coming up he's big he's big oh shit. first uh, dude i don't know what is going on this might be a giant this might be like an absolute giant it doesn't really even feel like a bass look at those head shakes kendrick look at the head shakes yep there's a mega all right Whoa. okay wow all right graphing paid off just a little bit i think jeez <laughs> On the dart? On oh, the dart. I gotta rotate his back around, dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Little five inch dart there. What do you think? It's over five. I mean, that's, sure. a, that's a fiver and I don't have a scale, so. He's in like 25 foot of water, 20 foot of water. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> that's a good start. <laughs> Glad we came to Fork. <laughs> oh, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, that fish smoked at it like instantly. Oh, that's a big, that's a big. Oh, I was throwing a crankbait and I lost it in like three casts. So I whooped up a, I'm trying to get ready for pick work. I told you guys, so I whooped out a scrounger, a five inch Guggen bait dart on the back of that son of a gun. The key is to allow your money back to get filled with water. <laughs> that's what you did. Sit there and then the fish love it. The fish absolutely love the taste of that extra water. <laughs> Look at that big one right there too. There's another big one right there. You got to come forward a little bit. He's at the end of your cast. That's another giant right there. 25 Straight. feet out? No, no, no. 70. 70. I mean, he's way out there, so we got to get forward. It's a big out the gate, huh? First one. 
Dude, when I when I mean laid into him, it just became heavy and I just was like wonk. They're, they're moving. Pro blue red. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, there's a school fish right there off to your right. Drop shot. We're just out here, right? That's the reason why I installed 360. Well, so I don't have to pan anymore. I'm tired of that panning. Oh my god, I just got hammered again. Look at him doinking down there in the bottom. Damn, I just got doink. There's my bait. Look at my bait. Look at my bait. Look, he's chasing my bait. Oh my gosh, get it. Chasing get it, my bait. Get it. Get it. He's on it. Oh. Fuck. Did you not get hit right there? No. I did get doinked a second ago. There's a big bass right there. He's coming up. We're about to see. We're about to see. Oh, well, there go. There it goes. Yeah, I think they're out here more off this. Yeah, they're a little bit they're, off. They're though. off the edge. Oh, he's in the tree. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just got the small old dangle set up. I've got a medium light. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, good. <laughs> so there is a lot of bait down here, and there's a reason why these bass are jumping off this edge. God, they're just busting everywhere. Kendrick's got like a three pounder on. I mean, it's fun. Oh, that's a good fish, dude. Oh, he's about to jump. He should be caught if Kendrick. Get your hand in there, buddy. Yeah, a little two and a half yonder. It's not a bad start on. Oh, my God. Did I just get doinked again? Drag and drop got it done. I'm over here throwing a scrounger. I can't wait till Kendrick gets ours done. I say Kendrick gets ours done, but Kendrick's definitely not the one working on it. But we are gonna get it done. Connell's been bugging us for like two years to get a damn scrounger done. Come on. I don't have another reaction rod. I got some rock. What do you mean? You think, you think it's a reaction? <sighs> There's a reaction. Okay. Looks pretty new too. I don't mind these heavy series rods, but it's like pretty much past when I want to use them. It kind of sucks because they're too heavy for a Carolina rig, you know, but they're good for flipping Kissimmee grass. I'll definitely be able to feel the thing moving now. I couldn't even feel the damn thing moving on that rod. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go to the next spot. Dusty. All right, I'll tell you right now that feels way different than the heavy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, that's me. How are you doing? It's crazy that you noticed me in a different boat. Nice yeah, buddy, have a good day. There's a lot of fish down there, dude. Oh, look at, 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 look I wish we would have found this school this morning, huh? If we were on this thing first thing in the morning, we would have really wrecked them. Those are bass. That's one million percent bass. Right. I'm about to dangle this thing right in front of their face. Oh my God, there's fish here. Come on now. You guys catching them? Well, cast right there. There's some fish. <laughs> oh my God. No, here we go. <laughs> I've been hit three. I've had three bites and caught one. So there we go. On, on this grounder. See? Don't need to switch it up. He's a giant too, let me tell you what. That brings cool up. Oh my God. Oh, quick release. <laughs> quick release. Toss right there. I think when I came in, there was a ton of fish like stacked where you guys are. Ooh, I hit that one. Dude, I'm getting the tempo right on the scrounders that I really care about. Oop. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oop, oop. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. All right. All right. I'm very sorry. Yeah, There's some little quality school fish here, huh? There we go. Kendrick, what's up? Better tell Trey to get hurrying up on these these scrounger heads, buddy. Okay. You ready? Oh sh! Did you get it? I I got one more try. Don't worry. <laughs> That's weird looking. It is goofy looking. Nah, the best part about it is if you can hook them, they don't come off because it's just one hook. Unless you boat flip them, I guess. But. Oh. I did it. Yep, there you go. Throw back over where I'm at. Oh my God, I'm behind the tree. Might be another big one too. God dang, he's behind the tree. Oh, he's a big one. God, he's another big. God damn. Oh, there he is. You got him? You got, got him? One. Got one. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. Mine's not near as big. Go. <laughs> okay. We're fine. Mine's back behind this tree. It's another big one. There he goes. Got it off the limb. Got it off the limb. Kendrick, push the, push the board. He's off. Another giant. All right, let's back up. Let's school reset. <laughs>
That was another five plus. Well, on a good note, at least this is happening to me now and not like, you know, in a couple weeks when it matters. Pickwick, I don't believe, has, has like uh, 15 foot standing trees everywhere. That's what I keep getting hung up on. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. This is a different one. Hopefully this one works well. The water, I don't know. All right, dude, let's... We got to at least catch one more giant. They were stacked right there. There we go. Oh, he's behind a tree. Every time you catch one, he's behind a tree. <laughs> he is behind a tree, dude. Look at this. He's coming up. Oh my God, Kendrick. We got the tempo down, buddy. I've got the tempo down. That's another good one. Look at that, dude. The three yonder. Oh, this makes me so happy, dude. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I really do love it. This is good. Found a little school of them and they're absolutely munching. Yeah, it feels good. And it's midday. It's hot as balls. It's hot as balls. Thirsty. <laughs> They're thirsty. Out of water. Out of water. We got Mickey's though. Oh my God. Mickey's and Largies. Mick, Mickey's and Largies, baby. We're sitting in 22 foot of water on a lake we haven't fished in two years at least. Find a school and just start doinking some bigs with one of our baits that we made. <laughs> Let that, I mean, that's so cool. It is cool. You know what you think about? It? We literally came up with this bait and now we're out here doinking on them. Oh, there's another one. There he is. You know, I could throw something else. This ain't no tournament. I'll let it sit out there so it won't jack up the school. What do you think about that? Courteous, I'm being courteous. You guys want some of these baits? Oh, this is y'all's first time on Fork? Yeah. It's a sh show with boats always. I haven't been here in two and a half years. <laughs> well, that didn't work nearly as, as well as I had planned. This reminds me of Florida is what it is. Everybody fishing so close. Oh my God, you stuck it, didn't you? <laughs> Almost hit my forehead. You got up close with that one? Yeah, a little bit. All I hear was <laughs> Is it good? Oh. He's literally just throwing the same thing I just gave you guys. On a shaky head, that's it. It was like having like... Do you mind if I get a picture? Oh, I don't care. Thank you very much. Yeah, here, I'm just gonna toss them on the deck. No, I just didn't put all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man's didn't put a plug in. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, can we show these or no? What? Oh, yeah. You wanna show these? Look at these things. People haven't seen these new hats. They're not out yet, of course. It says Guggen Squad and a rubber. I don't know what this, what this is even called, but look at that rubber. Guggen Squad on the inside. This is what happens when you go out with the CEO of Guggen. He allows me to see new products. It was good to meet you, buddy. Have a good day. Kendrick, I think we give away more stuff on the water than we make on the videos. We're a company of the people. We're kind of like Russia and North Korea, right? <laughs> Look at these little doink nuggets here. Look at those little nugs. <laughs> Chances we catch one of them little nuggets. What do you think? I feel pretty good because they're kind of stuck to the bottom. They are stuck to the bottom, old Kendrick. Dude, you might want to back us off a little bit. I want to get on top of them. That's a good fish, dude. That's another big fish. I'm about to boat flip them. Rod was pulling that that fish. I don't know what I was thinking, but I tested the limits. That was probably one of the dumbest things in the last six years I have ever done. Fi like that one, what is it, six plus probably? It was it was a big, really big fish. You guys know the size of this rod? This is a 7.2 medium moderate. A 15 pound test. I have no idea why I just tried to boat. That was, it was really, that was really fucking. So there you go, lessons learned. Don't try to boat flip a six to seven pounder with 15 pound test in a 7.2 medium moderate rod. Like I, I would do it with a 7.6 seven, seven, heavy all day. Why not? I mean, I've done it before. <sighs> I always show the cool stuff, so may as well show when I fuck up pretty bad too, because that was pretty stupid. But I'm catching them on this, this scrounger. At least now I'm learning how to throw it correctly. And I've caught two over six today. All I had to do is bend over and just pick up the fish. Like That's my first time I've exploded one of my rods. At least I did it. Hey, dude. R&D develop? Or, yeah, what, you, what, you like that? Yeah. R&D. Just tested the limits. Don't do that. Here's another one. That's another good one. I'm just a little salty still over my last one. This one's not nearly as big as that last one. It's still big. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not boat flipping right now. We're good. Here we go. Look at his tail. What the f Oh my God, that's the first time I've ever seen a bass like that. What is going on today? Did someone try to attack him or did somebody cut him? Look at that. Dude, I've never seen that before in my entire life. We're on a slot lake, everybody, so I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to throw them back. 
That's, that's wild. So I, I do a stupid thing and then a second later we catch one of the weirdest looking bass I've ever seen. Cast that one? There's another one. Come on, get out, get out. He's coming up. There he goes. That's another big fish. I can't believe the line just survived all that. Oh, Jeez. It's another big. I've been working on a pretty good bag myself, huh? I mean, that one's at least four and a half pushing five. If you guys have never used a dart, you probably should go pick one up. If you guys did not know this, you guys can use code LUNKERS right now at checkout. Save 20% off everything Guggen related. Even these new, well, you get 10% off these. These nice, sweet, succulent, well, I call them squad tech, but he calls them performance wear. It's squad tech material. It's squad tech. It makes me feel better. Okay, let's think this for a sec. So I wouldn't have tried to boat flip that. We'll say six. We'll just give it six. We'll say 12. The one, the other one that got off was around the same pounds. We'll say 17 and at least two threes, right? So if I wouldn't have, I think we would have had 23 pounds fairly easy today. Over 20 pounds on any lake, that's good. We just got kind of lucky. We idled over the thing. Every time we would get that thing inside of the school of fish, they would eat it. They would doink the absolute snot out of it. I'm probably going to come back here next week with Zaldane because I have a three 360 image and just put on my boat and I kind of want to get that thing super dialed in for for pickwick of course oh yes oh hirsch well we did go out to dinner tonight it's pretty much we came back went out to dinner i didn't really know if we we're gonna make a video today so i'm kind of happy we did oh my gosh today i was telling her i mean you don't boat flip you don't do that you don't take a 7.2 medium modern rod and try to flip a six plus pounder the 7.6 heavy rod with like 17 or 20 or some braid 100 percent it's getting flipped it's getting decked <laughs> oh it's getting decked but that one definitely not but I hope you guys enjoyed the video here on Lunkers TV. I do love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and roll that sweet, succulent mother truck. And I don't know what video is next, but I do love you guys. One minute left. Holy...